happy 4th of July, everyone. And finally, I'm getting around to bringing you the story of going out east into the Carolinas, um, into West Virginia, Virginia. In a w I shouldn't probably start it that way. Um, but here's, here's the story of uh, our trip out east. I hope you enjoy. So the very next thing I'm doing is emptying out everything in my saddlebags. And I'll tell you, I, behind the scenes, put my tab on my plate because I have forgotten that on this bike over and over for some reason. I don't know why I've got it on the others. But anyway, I corrected that. And a mistake is I've also got the registration, which comes with that tab, uh, the updated one in my emergency wallet. And uh, before going on trip, it was a good time to make sure you got your updated insurance card, which I don't at the moment. My wife has it, so I'll leave that out until I can get that. One of the first things I'm going to do is make sure that my two or three man tent fits in my saddlebag because this uh, will determine if I'm living in comfort or not. And I'm not sure if my one man. Uh, Wenzel is going to do the trick or not. It's been a while since I've used it. I don't know if the poles are even uh, still functional. So we'll give this a shot, see if it fits. I got it in, but that's about all I'm going to get into that bag if I take that. So I'm going to check out the Wenzel and see if the poles are all in, in order. Doing a quick walk around with how the bike finalized. Got spare fuel down there. I ended up putting the blanket in another dry bag, put in a small military on top, just for quick access to things like gloves and things of that nature. Tend still put on the overwatch bag, which is where my clothes are. On bar mounts, I have a GoPro mount, I have a phone mount, and a cup mount. These are all, except for this one, temporary mounts. Very reminiscent of what I did on my first Sportster. Uh, mainly, I'm just trying to save trips to Harley. In this saddlebag, I have rain gear, predominantly. There might be some tools. And on this one, I have camping gear uh, and a spare sweatshirt and very little else. Uh, my license and registration information is in there as well. So I'm pretty excited about this trip. I've got the GoPro mounted and ready to go. Uh, I've got tunes in my helmet because uh, I don't have much for an audio s system in the soft tail. And I've really got it dressed up very similar to how it used to be on my first Sportster. So I've not gone out east too far yet. Um, I've trailered down to Alabama and Florida, but this will be my first time in like Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina, uh, even Tennessee, we'll, we'll probably venture through, um, Indiana. So a lot of new states on my list, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty pretty excited about that. And it seems, it seems um, fitting that uh, this bike is dressed up like the bike I took my first trip on. And if I never told you about that, it's uh, a challenge to go from Minnesota, southeast Minnesota, to Rapid City on an 883. I did that my first year, about 650, 700 miles um, by the time you get to Deadwood. So, should be good. Uh, I don't think we're going to do any days where there's possibility for an iron butt. Um, knock on wood. But we'll see how it goes. I'll talk with you all soon. And of course, Murphy struck right before I left. There was a lot of windstorms in Minnesota, and right before leaving, we lost power for about seven hours. But it was a good opportunity to test my camping equipment 
and spend time with the girls. The next day was basically getting out of Minnesota, traveling through Iowa, and making our way towards Illinois. We are in Hog Dog, right next door to Frank Fitz's shop. Check that out after I have a bite to eat. In Savannah, Illinois. Pretty cool place. And you know what, after being on the twisties and on the bike for quite a while, I'm ready for having a brew and I'm going to get an Italian while we're down here. I had that cold beer and Italian and just relaxed for a while and it was glorious. You know, I remembered it's important to sit back, reflect, relax, and remind yourself that when you're on these trips, there is no work. There is only enjoying the moment. Well, it's the end of day one and we've made it down to Kanakee, Illinois. Is that how you say it? Depends. Are you local or a... I'm not a local. How do you say it if you're a local? Kankee. 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 That's how the old folks say it So... The keys are old folks. When in Rome. Janakees. Janakees? Janakees. There is nothing like a Chicago dog. And Shade Tree, I know you like hot dogs, especially when traveling. Take my word for it. We uh, conducted some business that we had in town and drove past the VFW, check out a, a Huey that was there, and basically called it a night. The next day, we would be on our way to Ohio and ultimately West Virginia. It's hot, and we're stopping for some ice chai. Yummy. I'm sitting in a couch, which feels awfully good. And uh, to answer the age-old question, can you tour on a soft tail? Yes. Yes, you can. And it's a whole lot more punk rock than a dresser. Our travels continued, and we visited the the normal sites, checked out some Masonic halls, and wound up having some dinner and learning a little bit about Native American history. We goofed off a little bit, and the wings and the beer were wonderful in the heat. <laughs> yeah, I really kind of outdid myself on this room. It's uh, it's pretty classy. I like the dip in the bed, purple velour. Uh, not real sure what that pink stuff has on the bedspread. This carpeting is just the absolute bomb diggity. It's not completely filthy. Let's see what the shower looks like. Oh, I've seen dirtier showers in a hotel room. Guess somebody needed that. Let's see if there's a screen in the uh, sink or if somebody stole that for smoking weed. Yep. Huh. Okay, Kurt and I are known for our shenanigans, but. On our way into the hotel, my bike started to feel different, and we discovered that I had a broken spoke, and it started to freak me out a little bit. And in his usual manner, Kurt was trying to uh, use comedy to make me feel better. And then he noticed something else that uh, helped me even more. 
we did not realize it, but we were right next to a Shriner temple and happened to look and see if anybody was there. And there happened to be a great group of guys, uh, a group of clowns that we sat and chatted with for a while. And I won't normally get into my fraternal ties, but I just got to tell you that in these times where I was feeling down and wasn't sure what was going to happen with a, a motorcycle breakdown in a world where it's hard to get parts and things are on back order and just being able to spend time with Nemesis Shrine, uh, it re-energized me. And I'm so grateful that we had that opportunity to meet these brothers from West Virginia. The next day, I brushed myself off and we got up for breakfast. We tried a place that I'd never been that was wonderful. And we actually went back to Ohio for this place, uh, had biscuits and gravy and started our pursuit of finding a dealership to help us. We finally found one. I think it was called Closer to Heaven, Harley Davidson. And they were fantastic. They respoked uh, the the wheel, knowing that they couldn't get a wheel in time, and we were thinking about neat ways to use the the broken spoke. Then we found ourselves a wonderful barbecue stand. Had ourselves some barbecue for lunch, and it was raining, so I didn't take video footage. Uh, but oh my goodness, we started to really see the the beauty of the area that we were in, and it was it was just truly breathtaking. When I was a kid, I really liked the Revolutionary War, but as I've gotten older and have seen the complexities of the world, I've become more and more interested in the Civil War, and we were in an area uh, that had Civil War significance, so of course we had to uh, go over to the side and check things out. said and done, we decided to finish our day the same way we started it, having ourselves a little breakfast for dinner. And where else should we do that? Yep, we got our Waffle House fix. And that seems like as good of a place as anywhere to stop for now. Uh, you probably noticed, and if you didn't, this is part one of a series. So just like Route 66, there's far too much for me to share in one episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed the first section where we've gone from Minnesota through Iowa, Illinois, Ohio, into West Virginia. Um, in the next episode, we'll uh, go even further. So, please come back. Remember to hit like, hit subscribe, click the bell for notifications, which consequently is going to be important because it's just not possible for me right now to be putting out content weekly. So make sure you hit the notifications so you know when it comes out. Uh, and in the meantime, remember to always see the beautiful things that are around you every day.